The first time I homebrewed, the very first time in our house, I had the, the kit on the stove and I'm boiling down the malt and everything and, and my daughters and my wife's going, boy, the house smells so good. Then I added the hops, ran yeah. them out of the house. <laughs> They did not like the bitter smell of the hops, and I'm like, man, this smells good to me. <laughs> I want him to be happy at what he does. He was happy in his other job, but he's really, really happy doing this. It's, a, it's something that he has a passion for. We have no beer in bottles. We'll be bottling in a couple of days. So if you want to drink beer at the brewery, you got to go in here and pull it off the bright tank. And hopefully it doesn't spray everywhere. The craft beer is a beer that is not brewed to make profit. I mean, you're not putting cheap ingredients in it. You're not trying with the lowest amount of alcohol. You're, you're trying to make a beer that is by style, a, a beer in its class. As a craft brewer, you're trying to replicate these rich, beers that have history in it. But even beyond that, a lot of the craft breweries, including us, you're going outside of the style guidelines and making unique beers. I mean, I love coming out here and I hear chickens in the morning, and roosters crowing, and I hear horses win that, that win. And uh, when people drive out to the brewery, uh, the last 0.6 miles is on a dirt road, and that's part of the experience. And uh, it's, it's, we just enjoy being out in the middle of nowhere. We had our very first uh, uh, tour. We had about a third of the people showed up on four-wheelers and uh, golf carts. You can't do that in the city. So how many acres do you have here again? Just five. Five? One thing, we, one thing we actually, all the employees, it's so hot in here, we keep a bunch of uh, popsicles. <laughs> we, go through, we go through popsicles like water. And the reason we're here is because we we feel that our tax dollars will be in an area that doesn't have a lot of industry and we can have an impact and we can help. If we were in Harris County, we would be a drop in the bucket. So the way I look at it, the more taxes we pay, the more we're helping and the more beer we're making. So we're trying to get our production up so we can maybe get a new road out here. That'd be nice. <laughs> I wish I had spent grains or, or weights that I feed them on. This keeps going to the We were to filter it to uh, like 4.4 microns. It would strip a lot of the, the rich flavor, and we don't want to do that. That's not what we're after. I want a beer I like. And I, I just love the science of it. There's an unbelievable amount of science in brewing beer, and I, I just always love science. I don't even know how they ever invented beer. They didn't do it by accident. It's, it's a craft. It's, you, you take the recipe, and you develop, design it. You, you've done your research and study, and uh, when you brew enough, you kind of have an idea what the beer is going to taste like. We're thinking about using the water profile from Scotland for our Scott Jail. And uh, when we do our ESB, which is a London, we'll probably do London, London water. And if we did ever did a Chimay style Belgian beer, we'd do Belgian water. And it's just, it's by, by me having to dump my beer and learn all of the water chemistry when it comes to uh, brewing, it really opened up a whole new world to me. And now we're excited about our water. We have total control of it and we're drinking water from around the world and we're brewing beer with water from around the world right here in Southeast Texas. To brew a craft beer is to put your heart and your soul into that beer and understand everything about that beer and your brewery and then bring it from the process of uh, brewing, fermenting, uh, letting it clarify, carbonating, and getting it in the bottle, and then you finally get to taste it and you go, this is a good beer. La, la, la.